Ashbury is a great place to live because it's an exciting place to live. With a home of Energizer, Malto Mill, the North Carolina Zoo. The North Carolina Zoo here in Asheboro is the largest natural habitat zoo in the world. It covers more than 2,000 acres, currently has an Africa continent and a North America continent. The city really started pushing downtown as a, a place to come back and live. We began a project where we took the old Sunset Theater, which was downtown on the National Historic Register, but it really fallen on hard times. We fixed it up, we remodeled it, rehabilitated it, turned it into a performing arts center. It spawned housing right down the street. A couple of old mills have been renovated for housing. We have our first microbrew downtown. We have five-star restaurants downtown, a real entrepreneurial spirit downtown. A lot of people come to Ashboro that aren't born and raised here. It's easy to connect, it's easy to make friends, it's easy to serve in public service. People care about their neighbors and it's just a wonderful place to raise a family. Ashboro has helped spawn a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship because we've mimicked our private sector partners. Using the same techniques they use in the private sector, using technology, we've been able to cut costs and continue to provide outstanding customer service to our citizens. Going back to 2011, the city had done our first really entrepreneurial project, which was to put a GIS collection system in all our garbage trucks. What you see behind me is the Ashburn City Recycling and Garbage Truck. We operate a combined environmental services department and we do both facilities. But this vehicle is much more than that. As part of our innovation and entrepreneurial vision, we've turned it into a mobile communications platform. In the truck is a laptop computer that sends signals back to our facilities. The computer in the truck logs the number of miles the truck's driven number of pickups, but it also logs what's out there on the street corner, whether it be brush, limbs, appliances, furniture, and that truck goes to the next day and picks all that debris up. It saves us a lot of money, a lot of time, much more efficient, and just an example of our innovation. Our Mobile One 311 system, which is in this vehicle, is the 2011 ICMA Community Sustainability Award winning innovation. This is the City of Ashboro Wastewater Treatment Plant. Currently, we can run 9 million gallons of wastewater a day. We currently run about 3 million gallons a day. The facility you see directly behind me is our new digester and digester cover. This cover will collect methane from sugar water produced at our local Malto Mill Mom Brands Post Brand Cereal Company. The beginning and the transportation of this sugar water to our facility is the beginning of our new waste to energy project. We hope to take the sugar water, convert it to methane gas, then burn the gas through a generator to create energy generation for our plant, as well as potentially sell back to the grid. Post Cereal contacts us when they have excess sugar water. If they were to discharge it into our normal sewer, they would pay astronomical surcharge fees. When we approached them about it, they were able to get rid of this high strength sugar water to us for free, and we were able to use it as a carbon source in our system without having to pay for a a carbon source like most municipalities have to. We send a tanker truck up there, they load it into the tanker, the tanker comes back here and offloads it into a bulk tank. From the bulk tank we transfer it to a smaller day tank and then from there we feed it into our process. The collaboration between the City of Asheboro and Post Serial, a landmark event so to speak because it's not often that you see business and municipalities work together uh, so well. We're excited about this project, the innovation of this project, the entrepreneurial spirit of the employees that designed and created this project once again demonstrate Ashboro's unique ability to create, innovate, and be entrepreneurial at the municipal level as well as our outstanding dedication of our employees to create this wonderful project. We're extremely proud of that Ashboro was selected as an All-America City by the National Civic League. We spotlighted three local organizations that did work for children's health and wellness and providing them for long-term success in school and life. We're very pleased at that. We're very proud of that. One of ten selected in the United States this year. For the future of City of Ashboro, I see economic development. I see us continue to work on our downtown, continue to stress our quality of life. I see us eventually having a zero carbon footprint uh, where we are self-sustaining here at the waste plant, that we generate our own power and have our own resources that we maintain. Ashboro is part of Randolph County. Randolph County is working on a large mega site now. Hopefully it can be a large uh, global manufacturer. That's really where we can make our difference in our global marketplace. <music>